Are you there watching this video prepared for a very big drop to the downside on Bitcoin? Are you even aware of the factors and the evidence, the data on the chart that is showing big, higher term time frame bearish signs? Well, if you are not ready in this video, I will be preparing you for that, okay, as we cover some big major signs of weakness on this Bitcoin chart that absolutely can lead to major drops to the downsides. I want to work this video starting off on the more lower term time frame and covering the local price action, moving on to ending with that higher term time frame weakness and bearish signs that we have. So a little bit for everybody in this video as we get deep into these Bitcoin charts and just doing what we absolute love. That is doing our analysis, preparing ourselves for these trades to get ready for some even bigger profits. So let's jump straight into this one. So it's it's very interesting, actually, what we got on these lower term time frames. OK, and I would I refer to this potentially medium term time frame. I'm going to be starting off on the four hour chart. I'm going to be sharing with you a few little really nice tips here to begin with. And that is working from what we can see currently, right? So just again, covering the facts, we've put in a low below $50,000 where we took out psychological 50K, bouncing off of those at the time, naked point of controls that we had rallied up to what I feel is that big retest just above $61,000. This is a higher term time frame level, of course, which I will be covering in this video towards the end. But for now, that obviously gave us our high and we put in a series of lower lows and lower highs. What we can do with this is we can connect the high of, the, of those two points, okay? And move it down to the low of those two points. So then we've got these three initial points, high, low, lower high. That then gives us a target for a lower low. And you can see that target hit perfectly with wicks below the channel, but overall ending in a fake out for a full reversal to the upside. You can see there's the fake out, boom, straight up to where? The high of that channel. And again, you had these pivots from way back here. It then go, went on to give you the absolute low, and then it went on to give you the absolute high. And the little tip that I wanna give you here, especially for you more beginner, intermediate traders out there, is why it's so useful to verify on the four hour chart. I love the four hour chart, even myself as a, let's just say a very experienced trader. I love the four hour chart. It really is good for that slow paced level of confirmation. So here on the four hour chart, you can all agree, right? This is such an obvious fake out of the low. Wicks to the downside, closes back above. From the four hour chart, that's a long trade based off the fake out of the channel that we've had. Up to the upside, once again, fake out closes back down below wicks that gave you a short trade entry right so from this four hour time frame perspective with the fake outs you had a long at the low and a short at the highs but then this is where especially for the newer traders it can get a little bit more confusing i feel the four hour chart here very clean let's say well so if you come down to a chart such as the 15 minute chart you can see how you were seeing closes down below a little bit more choppy right so this is a harder trade based off of a fake out because you form an initial low you get back in you come down for a swing failure pattern of that low and then you rally okay and up at the highs you can see well ever so slightly up towards the highs and then another rejection but here you're getting several closes back above before a market structure change and a drop so i want to share with you some tips that you can be looking for here and first of all, it's waiting for a market structure change. If you remember from my previous uh, video, this was on Friday, I actually had a long from this exact low. And so what I waited there was for a, there's the low, there's lower high, there's the lower low. Market structure change as we break those lower highs. I then bought the retest off of a daily naked point of control. And as we know, that reversed the whole way. So that's a lower term time frame entry trigger that you can use. Wait for the market structure change. Uh, to give you a sign of strength and a clear invalidation up at the highs again you on a lower term time frame it looked for signs of strength originally right although i would never long a breakout but what you actually went on to form in this section of the chart was very very big bearish divergences so um well actually so this is what this is well let me rephrase that because at the time you would view them okay if you're just and this is where you get a have to get a little bit of uh, experience because you were actually forming at the time, right? Higher lows on the chart. So you were forming higher lows here. 
but you were forming new lows on the CVD. So officially, right, that is bullish divergences. Okay, so officially that's bullish divergences where you're holding up with the higher lows, but the lower lows on the CVD. But I did do a live stream during this section of the chart for the champions. And I was explaining that even though, yeah, officially there's bullish CVD here, I was viewing that as leading divergences, and I was expecting this to not hold higher lows, those bullish divergences to be invalidated, leading divergences, and we will get a move to the downside. So this is very complex, <laughs> very complex, very complex. Uh, you know, that's a high level of understanding to realize, okay, all of you can, well, a lot of you can recognize bullish CVD divergences. Look, there's the higher lows, but this massive bullish CVD at divergences at the time. But how many of you would be able to recognize that's leading divergences? And actually, we don't want to long these higher lows bullish CVD, but we want to wait for lower because we're actually expecting it to be leading. The way I recognized that was based off of the context of larger markets and seeing the open interest, the way the open interest was moving is what led me to believe this will not be you know, officially bullish divergences, but actually what I felt was more bearish, hold off on the longs, wait, because lower prices will be coming. And of course, we dropped from 60,000 all the way to our current low, which was at uh, 58,538, which I can show you the exact level that we bounced from, by the way. Take a look at this, the monthly view up to the absolute dollar. So oh, very technical indeed. But that was my little tips for you. Overall, basically on the lower term time frame, totally range bound. And this is what I honestly say, you can look for the longs at the range lows, look for the shorts at the range highs, play this neutrally. Okay, on the lower term time frame, you don't want to be ultra bullish, you don't want to be ultra bearish, you simply want to look for shorts on the rises to resistance, and you want to look for the longs on drops to support. It sounds very simple, but a lot of people struggle with that because they end up getting too bullish at the highs and too bearish at the lows. If you want assistance on remaining, looking for the shorts at the highs and looking for the longs at the lows, of course, I do offer my guidance every day. I've been doing live streams every day of the week, actually several live streams a day for the champion members uh, where we've got live trading streams, of course, daily morning streams, uh, AMA streams updates in the discord throughout the day i've got another live trade i have another live trading today where i'm going to live trade new york open so again that's live on stream you'll see the thought process you know for example explaining if i think this is leading divergences the entry triggers the trades the stop losses to take profits all of that okay we've got a live trading stream today me and severin going live for the new york open if you want to be involved in that but nevertheless where i'm going with this lower term time frame neutral downtrend channel at the moment if we can instead of getting a fake out of this channel flip it into support okay and we can start to close on the four hour chart above this that's when we will look for this trend line to be broken and look for that rally up towards sixty three thousand dollars okay if we are unable to break this downtrend if we are unable to reclaim resistances into support well then naturally we would look for lower prices to come and then on the lower term time frame naturally what we do is as always level to level trading okay so we have our levels we trade the reaction it's as simple as that I want to actually look at the higher term time frames for you here i've talked enough about the lower term time frame the higher term time frame is where we have those big signs of weakness before i get onto that really quick announcement number one it's super important that you pay attention to this because it's happening way more often and that is the amount of scammers that are scamming people left right and center they are getting scammed and then they're coming to me and it's unfortunately it's too late i cannot help you um you know this is not me reaching out and, and dming you you know i'm not talking to anybody on dms right so just know if you get reached out to somebody on a direct message if you get invited to some random discord server if they're asking you to uh pay free or go in for free trials and then asking for money just know that it's not me it's not none of the employees of chart champions these are just scammers that are out there to simply take your money you need to be very careful okay because they will offer you the world and you'll get nothing back so just be extremely careful with the yeah the scammers you can see here chart champion zero one right there's going to be uh, customer service with two s's or, or something along those lines but it, it does look very real i understand how people can get scammed if you're not careful because you know their whole profiles look very 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 similar but just use a little bit of common sense i'm not ever going to be dming you you know i <laughs> i'm busy enough i'm not spending my time dming people asking for money just never going to happen 
be very careful if you want to join chart champions just do it via chartchampions.com the official website no other place no other contact is ever going to be uh, given so just just be very very careful because i see an increase in the scammers so that's all i want to say on that and then finally i want to remind you all that we are now doing daily shorts so to get onto those you can just click on our channel itself Hello, everybody. And then, of course, here you can actually see all the latest shorts or just click on shorts. We're actually releasing one short a day at the moment. So we've got lots of new short videos coming out. These are like 30 second quick clips. So really, yeah, just bringing your attention to that. If you want to check the shorts every day, there's a new one. And I am posting some of them too over on Instagram, different clips, different trading bits and bits and pieces. So, yeah, there's a few different platforms to make you aware of. And, and that is all I wanted to mention on that. So the higher term time frame weakness that we got is actually based off of the um, uh, value area theory. OK, so really simply what we got going on here is on the higher term time frame, of course within this range like, and i'm taking the range from the middle of february we have a value area low value area high and of course we have the point of control if the theory is really simple acceptance into value area low target value area high but now we have lost okay and this is what is clear, clear obviously very clear for the for if we get a reclaim okay so i want to emphasize that so we can say at the moment it's definitely good to be cautious cautious on the higher term time frames why because we have currently lost the value area low and retested it for a rejection you can see several wicks as rejections previous times we have fake out straight back in okay and then we rallied from 61 to seventy thousand okay, dollars that's a big rally whereas this time yes we have retested with wicks 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 and wicks so it's very this is a higher term time frame sign of weakness currently because you've lost that value area low and you've retested it as resistance. So that, that again, there's lots of factors that we need to take in consideration here. But just one factor that is a fact is we have lost the range value area low. We have tested it as resistance and it's currently holding as such. And so that's just something to very much be aware of. If we can reclaim this, well, that then I would say is very bullish for a rally to the upside. But while below, this is a sign of weakness, and it is something you should definitely be aware of as a trader for either the reclaim or the retest, because these are major levels on the chart, major, major levels on the chart. So, of course, this is why I always will emphasize so massively, please listen, listen to the content that I speak, because I could put on the title of this video, Bitcoin ready for a pump, Bitcoin ready for a dump, Bitcoin uh, going for a massive pump and dump, etc., etc. The title is irrelevant please listen to the content okay because i don't even know what i'm going to title this video right it's totally irrelevant the titles they're just a little bit of excitement so people can be attracted to click on the video the content is what is important here and so yes although i might title this are you ready for a bitcoin dump and i think you should be no nevertheless right but really at the end of the day you have to understand this is a value area low of the range currently we've got the retests if we get the reclaim, then that is a big sign of strength and we can absolutely look for that lovely rally to the upside. But otherwise, if we cannot get that reclaim, we have simply done a retest. And to be fair, that is a sign of weakness. Do I think you should be ready for a massive dump to the downside? Well, I suppose we could say so, but you know I'm not really that fearful and I would still be looking to long the next drop down into my support zone, right? So understand i am a level to level trader at the end of the day we obviously were looking for that harmonic although the first time when it got invalidated we still do have this cc available for if we want to form a gartley but for now it is obviously this bit of a b wave here taking a lot longer than the original impulse so if this doesn't happen within the next you know i want to say 48 hours I'd, I'd totally write off that uh any form of a potential harmonic off of that cc so that's just something to be aware of uh, more than anything off of that fibonacci time uh, requirement and yeah just to be aware of that value area low it, honestly i do think it is important so uh thank you ever so much hope you've enjoyed again if you want to see live trading from me later on today uh if you want to see daily morning updates on live streams updates in the discord throughout the day and of course the biggest factor is the education educate yourself understand all the theories you don't need to be waiting around for myself and other people to give you updates on our trades because you've already learned everything you've got the confidence and you're able to take those trades based off your own analysis that's what we want to get you to teaching you how to do all this so you are self-sufficient at the end of the day so uh yeah if you want that 
chartchampions.com. We will help you every step of the way. And I will say, if you want to see me live trade on YouTube this week, smash that like button. Over 1,000 likes. I will go live for you this week with a special live trading stream. If we don't get 1,000 likes, well, it's just going to be kept only for the champion members. Yeah, if you want that, smash the likes. Otherwise, yeah, you'll have to join the membership. Thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed. And that is me signing out. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and have a good day. Goodbye.